Hey guys, so I am on the airplane right now, getting ready to head to Baltimore. I picked this truck up, it is a two day. So this is my first trip that I picked up out of Baltimore. Easy day, I only have one flight from Baltimore to Milwaukee and it's not even a full flight. I'll be there tonight uh, for 16 hours and then I have three legs tomorrow and then I'm done. I picked this trip up because of one that fit into my schedule. Um, it's only two days and it's commutable. So you said the commute again this morning and then tomorrow I get done around 5, 45, 6 p.m. and then I'll be able to commute home tomorrow. So I will catch you guys in Baltimore. So I made it to my um, plane. I'm in Baltimore right now. I'm on the plane. I'm in the B position, which means I'm in the back of the aircraft. I met my other two crew, crew members. They're really nice. I'm overnight in Milwaukee, and it is freezing in Milwaukee. I think it's like 16 degrees. Feels like nine outside. <laughs> so I really wanted to hang out and do like the lights. I think it's like a lights Christmas carnival or something downtown. But I might just stay in my room because I don't do well with cold weather. <laughs> Millie, hi. Mm hmm. Got you. Hi, Millie. How are you doing? Millie, are you ignoring me? Millie, Millie, are you ignoring me? Millie. No? Yes? Maybe? So I made it to my room. I am in Milwaukee. We're staying downtown. I really like my room and it's very like fancy. I actually like this hotel a lot. It's very fancy. Um, Here's some footage of their holiday decorations that they had Um, in the lobby. It was very nice. Um, and then tomorrow before I leave, I'm going to record um, just some of the scenery of the hotel because it's very like fancy like. So this is my view. I am on the 11th floor. My room. Nice spacious bathroom. I really like the lighting. <laughs> um, so I really wanted to get out and do something today, but I don't know. It's freezing in Milwaukee right now. And when I say freezing, it's like 15 degrees. So I don't know. I don't know, we'll see if I decide to do something. Um, just because we're right downtown, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'll decide. Okay, you guys, so I wanna show you what's in my flight attendant bag that I bought on a two day trip. Okay, so these juices are from Darren. I'll put his Instagram information here. But it's been a while since I ordered some of his juices and um, I decided to order one of each because I, I really like how they taste and I like the benefits um for a lot of the things so i forgot how many he has now but i only bought three with me um on this particular trip because um i'm just only gonna be gone for two days and the trip is commutable so it's not even like i'm going like a long time so this is three so i'm actually about to drink um and you see most of the ones i bought are like for immunity but this is the one i'm currently drinking um, these nuts, um, these are almonds. I'm going to put the name of the almonds over here <laughs> so you guys can see, but yeah, if you ever had those before, good. Chick-fil-A in Baltimore had these, um, out. So I just grabbed a couple. I'm not a big coffee drinker. Every now and then I drink some. I made some broccoli at home. Broccoli is one of those things that I eat fairly often. It does not give me gas, um, so I don't have an issue with those. These are blueberries. It's like one of my favorite fruits. 
This is some avocado mash, and I like it a lot, actually. So it was six in the pack. I only have two left. Um, this is from Chick Fil A earlier. <laughs> um, I always have turkey meat because this, I'm trying to only eat turkey meat and fish. I'm really only trying to eat fish, but I like turkey meat. So this is have this. This is one of the, my favorite protein bars because it's like not like you're really eating a protein bar, but I like it a lot. So I usually buy them when they're on sale. I just picked this up from Trader Joe's. They usually have like turkey salads, like traditional turkey salads and um like turkey wraps and stuff but i don't know i guess i went on a day where they um were out so i ended up grabbing this so we'll see how i like it man i actually should eat this in a few moments i always have gel packs so usually the gel packs i carry are like i carry one thick one that's rectangular and then i have a couple of these like on the sides but since I was only gone for two days, I only I just got these four thin ones and I'm just sticking it around my lunchbox. So that's everything. This is the water bottle that I usually carry on my trips. It holds 20 or well maybe I think it holds 20 ounces of water. So I always fill that up with the airplane water before I leave. Um, and it's also a foam roller. Um, because if you probably watch some of my vlogs, you'll notice that I I like going to the gym and I'm always really sore. Like, this is a very tiny lunch bag, but it holds a lot because this actually kind of expands a little bit. So on the front, this is very unorganized. I actually went through here earlier this morning. I have all different types of tea. My favorite tea is spearmint and peppermint mixed together um, with lemon or lime juice or actual lemons or limes. And then these are just random ones I got from different hotels. If they have them in the room, I'll just take them and put them in my bag. Um, and then some sandy wipes and then utensils. Up on the top of this one, so this has a spot on the side too. I've seen some people put their ice in that or whatever, but I, I just don't. Um, and then here it has this area too. And in here, I just have like rather random peppermint, random candies. I have instant grits in here. I usually take a butter one and a regular one, mix it together with hot water. And then I have these in here when I have a sweet tooth. But I'm really trying to stop eating so much chocolate because I just want to decrease from eating so many sweets. But when I have a sweet tooth, I'll try to eat some of this. Um, and then like random candy and stuff. Nothing major this is another trick that i use so you see how this curtain is not closing so like when i pull it together it's not closing but i don't want it to be completely dark in the room like i like the natural lighting so what i'll do is take one of these pant hangers from the room and i'll do this to help keep it closed it also works like for these curtains see how dark it's getting in here so you see how this curtain, like if you have a PM trip and you want to sleep later and the sun peeps through. So if you like a completely dark room, I'll do the same thing on the curtain as well. So that's one thing I do for the rooms. I don't know where I initially saw that. Um, or I don't know if I thought of, thought of it on my own. It's something really smart. <laughs> so I don't know if I personally thought about it, but I've been using it and it really works well because those p.m trips like if you don't get in until like 1 a.m in the morning then i get in at 1 a.m then it takes me a little time to wind down so i might not go to bed until like 3 a.m so i'm going to be sleeping until like well after the sun is up so i do that to keep it completely dark in my room so it is day two of my two-day trip that i picked up and i'm doing my final walkthrough of the room which I told you guys that before. And I'm about to head downstairs. It is about 12 minutes before, yeah, before my van leaves. So I, yeah, okay, I was making sure I was in the right place. Um, in this hotel, it took me, we had like a far walk to get to our rooms. So I'll make sure I wanted to leave a little bit earlier just in case I got lost going down. Just in case I got lost, I wanted to leave a little bit earlier. I think I'm supposed to go to the lower lobby. I don't know. Anyway, I 
figure it out. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Hi guys. So <laughs> I got on a plane this morning and it was just like nonstop go. Then I got done. I did three flights. I went from Milwaukee to St. Louis, St. Louis to Austin, and Austin to Baltimore. And then um, I had to ride the jump seat from Baltimore to Atlanta. So it has been a very long day. I am currently in Atlanta. Um, about to go home. I'll catch you guys on the next trip. Bye.